So guys, we're out here in the Hunter Classic once again, and today we're here on White Rhyme Ridge for another trophy hunting video, and White Rhyme last time went really well. Uh, we had the 115 Bison, 235 Moose, 29 Polar Bear, 172 Doll Sheep, and 13 Arctic Fox, but the biggest thing I want to add today is a Sitka Deer, so that's what I'm going to focus on most, uh, and anything else we can get along the way, or if we get a Sitka Deer fast, uh, we'll look at some of the other species, because I do want to improve uh, most of what we have, probably not the Moose, but everything else. I ideally would like to get a better one. And it looks like we'll be starting off with a somewhat decent sick of deer buck, 2270, and he's just taking forever to come in. Uh, and I'm actually not going to stay here, I'm going to fast travel uh, to the North Lodge, because I just wanted to check this area, see if there was any good Sitka bucks. And unfortunately it was just this guy, so we're going to take him with the 9.3. And he is down, man I haven't heard that, uh, that shot sound in a long time, it's been forever. Uh, since I've used this 9.3, of course I used the other one, uh, the double barrel, the 9.3 by 7.4 a lot. I can't even remember, what's this one? The 9.3 by 6.2, I think? Yeah, it is. Alright, anyway, let's see what our Sitka Buck scores. 57.755, not a bad start, but definitely not anything uh, worth mounting. I think I want like 95 plus for anything I'm going to mount. I actually ended up deciding not to fast travel just yet. I'm going to hunt uh, this area over here by the mountain, which I'll show in a second, but we got another Sitka buck, pretty much the exact same size, but with a few stickers coming in now, so probably another one right around the 50 area. And what are we looking at? 34 meters, and I think he might be stopping. Oh no, he's not stopping, alright. As long as he'll make it past that little bit of a snowbank, we'll take the shot as soon as he stops, and I'll use the crossbow this time, uh, so that we don't spook anything. But the strategy is going to be somewhat similar to last time we were here on White Ram. I'm going to do a lot of crossbow hunting uh, and try to spook as few animals as possible. The only reason I used the gun there at the beginning was because I had initially planned on fast traveling. I'm just going to shoot him while he walks, I think. I don't know how that wasn't double lung, but it should have been a single lung anyway. And he is going in the direction that I wanted to go, but I'll show on the map where I'm uh, checking first before I fast travel. I'm just going up, like, through this area. I almost never hunt over here, but... I do know I tend to get a lot of Sitka deer, so it's probably a good idea. Oh, he's actually down right here. It must have been single lung and liver. Actually, I think you can double lung Sitka deer and they run sometimes. Maybe that's what that was? And it was double lung with the crossbow and he ran. I totally forgot uh, that Sitka deer can do that, but 55 for this guy. And actually, I'm kind of glad I came up with this idea of going uh, along this side because I really, like, I don't Sitka deer hunt very often, but this does tend to be one of the areas that I get them a lot, so it could pay off. And we've got another Sitka buck here. This guy is a little bit better, but he's definitely not a monster. Probably like 70s or 80s, though. He's 40 to 90 on the score estimate. I've tracked him for a bit. Uh, he is 65 to 90 kilograms, but hopefully he is going to move. He is actually doing that now, so once he gives us a shot, we'll go for it with the crossbow. He should be like 20 meters probably by now. We'll probably go for it while he walks. And he is down, so not quite one worth mounting, but definitely our best so far. I'd like to see him top 80. I haven't killed very many uh, 80 plus unless they're like over 90 as well, so uh, with this rack style I haven't gotten maybe any over 80. And we actually got one, 80.119. I think I'm going to trophy shot that just because I'm not sure if I've ever uh, actually got one in the 80s. Not looking too bad, I didn't want to take too long with the trophy shot of that guy because he's not huge, but I don't know that I've ever actually gotten one in the 80s before. Like I said, uh, like 90 plus I've had plenty, but I don't know any that are actually between 80 and 90. We've actually got some bison up here. It looks like all females. I've not gotten to see all of them, but generally uh, they will be in hers pretty much all females or all males, so this one's getting ready to charge. If she'll stop uh, somewhere, that's going to be a little bit odd, but... Ooh, went for heart and she kind of turned. I hope that we got lungs. Uh, we actually did, so we should be okay. Hopefully she goes down quickly, but I wish I could have gotten to see all of the bison that were here, just in case there were any rares. Uh, but it looks like she did just go down. The only one I see running over there is normal. But yeah, I didn't really expect to have bison up here. This one's definitely not anything too special, but I just kind of came across them and figured I'd take one out. 51 score for this one actually got her through both lungs, even though she kind of turned like that, so that was kind of lucky. That is actually a really solid looking male bison, and 110 to 135 scores, and he's got a solid weight as well, uh, 770 to 840. I don't know why there's bison up here, maybe there actually uh, is normally. Like I said, I don't hunt up here very often, but that looks like a good one to me. I definitely want him to actually charge me and not go to the side though, because... I don't want to have a, like, risking a bad shot, so ideally, if he can charge at me, I can go for his spine, or maybe I can just get him in the spine if he stands there like that. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright. I'll wait then. 
Perfect. And that should take him down. It did. Those are some really solid looking horns. I've got my fingers crossed that he's going to top the one we have in the lodge uh, right now, which is 115. Let's claim him and see. And he is another 115, this time 115.798, uh, which will top the one that we have. So I'm going to trophy shot him. I'll throw him in there uh, in the lodge as well. And we'll have two bison for now. Not looking too bad. And we've got our first mounter of the hunt. We'll send him to the trophy lodge. I think I might have to shoot this sheep. It's just a female, but... She was going to spook. We've got a Sitka buck coming in and a male doll sheep called out in the general direction the Sitka deer is coming from. But I think the Sitka is probably far enough away uh, that he didn't hear that shot. Unfortunately, this sheep just started trotting right at me and uh, I didn't really have a choice. But there are animals everywhere right now. Uh, I'll show you where we're at in case you're curious. We're up here right pretty much at the end of the mountains. Uh, you can see just drawing that line across about how close we are uh, to the edge there. But I've got doll sheep everywhere. I've got Arctic fox tracks. I've got Sitka deer coming in. Uh, so this might be a spot I hunt a little more often, but double lung at 7.9 meters and a 39 score for that female doll sheep. I'm going to try to find a spot where I can actually see a bit and try to get that Sitka buck. I think the male doll sheep that I could hear is actually walking at us now. Uh, yeah, unfortunately it's not very big, but the Sitka buck is not very big either. I did get eyes on him, so let's try to take this guy. All right, dropped him and the Sitka deer is off, but he's, uh, probably smaller than anything we've had so far. So that is fine with me. I'm not even going to worry about him. We'll just grab our doll sheep and continue on. I think I'm just going to loop up around here. I had no plans to go this far, but I'm kind of liking this area. Double lung this guy at 20 meters, 89 score on him. And I'll just go on the map uh, and show you what I'm talking about. I think I'm just going to go uh, either up around that side of the mountain or around that side of the mountain. Either way, uh, going in this general direction. And we'll just see where we go from there. Oh, that's a pretty good looking sheep. Actually, there's two... This one is definitely bigger, though. What do we got for a score estimate on this guy? Uh, 110 to 195, and I don't think this one's got much of a curl. Uh, if I can get the score estimate up to 170. So, yeah, we definitely want this one. He's only 30 meters out. We might as well take him with the crossbow. I don't know. He might top our 172. I kind of think he's closer to 180s, maybe 190, because that curl's starting to go back uh, as well. So, I do think he's got a good chance. So if he can do anything but phase directly away from me. Oh, they're fighting. I haven't gotten to see that before. I wish I had something that wasn't the crossbow scope, but I don't want to put it down because the minute I do, I know they'll stop fighting. That's kind of cool. I'll just let them play that out for a little bit. Uh, and actually, if they're going to keep fighting for a minute, I know this is going to happen. As soon as I get up to spotting scope, they're going to stop, I think. But I knew it. <laughs> I should have just done it in the first place. But yeah, this guy's probably like 150, but I do think this one could be in the 190s. The curl is starting to go back, so he might just be. Now we just got to wait for a shot opportunity with the crossbow. I had a male arctic fox call uh, pretty much directly behind where I am now, but I tried to call him in and he didn't come in, so I don't know where he is. Might be able to get him there. That's probably like 35 meters. All right little bit left and they're doing that weird thing that uh, when they're fighting they get into that like not spooking deal for a little while but he is finally running I think that was a body shot maybe I should just hit him with the 9.3 actually uh, rather than tracking him I don't know because I kind of want to get um, that fox that called I don't know where he got to but uh, I am going to go probably check the track let's see what this blood looks like uh, and I don't see any bright blood, so probably was a body hit. The wind was blowing a little harder left than I thought, so I'll just sneak over here uh, and see if he ends up stopping again, and I can crossbow him. Otherwise, we'll just get him with a 9.3 so we can move on. This is definitely not our sheep. This one might be bigger. 125 to 210. He has got huge curls on him, uh, and we're not going to be wasting any time. Uh, we already have one to track, and it's not a good hit, so we're using the 9.3 on this guy. Those curls went so far back. He might even be a 200 plus, and I hear something down to my right, which is not good. Uh, I definitely don't need to be spooking anything, so we need to get eyes... Whoa, I didn't know I could crawl into those. We need to get eyes back on that sheep as soon as possible. Where did he actually get to? He must have just walked down the hill. I guess we'll just keep crawling, but that guy looked really, really good. Like, I thought the first one we shot looked good, this one looked even better. Uh, I don't want to get off the trail of the one that we're tracking, but I believe 
Uh, the male that I just saw called. Either that or there's a female down here as well. Uh, but let's just keep our 9.3 in hand in case we see him. Uh, and especially in case he flees. But he should be just here in front of us. Uh, any second I'm gonna... Oh, my sunglasses were on. It's really bright here. I can't... I guess there is a hill there. I can't actually see. There we go. Uh, yeah, there is. It was so bright, the reflection off the snow. I couldn't even tell, but... Didn't I hear something down here? If I did, it went back that way, I guess. But we gotta be right on top of this guy. And the ba oh, there he is. All right, I was about to say the bad thing is he's not moving, so I thought he maybe was looking at us. That is a huge curl on that guy. Let's crouch up so we're sure we're not gonna hit the ground, and go for the shot. And he is down. I am crossing my fingers, but. We might have a 200 plus doll sheep on our hands. He is really, really nice. Uh, max score estimate as well, so that's definitely a good bet uh, to add to it. So, look at the horns on that guy. I don't know, he'll be pretty close. Let's pick him up and see. Not quite what I was hoping for, just a 178, but he is our new personal best for the lodge. I'm really not sure what this guy's missing, that he's only 178. His curls are really good. Maybe it's just the overall... Uh, circumference of the horns or something. I'm not really sure, but regardless, a pretty good looking sheep. He will be our best uh, so far for the lodge, so we'll send him to the lodge and get back on track in the other one we shot, which apparently is not as big as I thought, but he could still be in the 170s area. This is turning into one of those hunts where everything wants to go wrong. Uh, I am still tracking that doll sheep. I might be tracking the wrong one because I haven't found any blood in a long time, but he's spooking so much he might be good anyway. Uh, but we've got a arctic fox coming in. That's a big one. All right, hold on. He saw us, I had to shoot him. That was max weight, max score, uh, and I do not have time to track anything else because I spooked what looked like a big Sitka buck. Unfortunately, he had a sticker, uh, but he might be over 100. He is definitely over 90, one that I would like to put uh, in the lodge. And then this guy called, and I thought, you know what? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, this is the one that called. Sorry, I, uh, I picked up the Sitka deer track again. I thought it would be a good idea to call the fox in. It'll give the buck a little more time to calm down, and he might just be a good one. We've got a doll sheep calling now as well, or didn't we? Maybe not. I thought I heard something. I don't know what that was. But anyway, let's see what this guy scores. He is a 14.9 with a heart shot at 19.2 meters. So that is our best fox by far. He is definitely going in the lodge. That's not a bad looking trophy shot. We will send him to the trophy lodge. And just to continue what I was saying about uh, the doll sheep, I don't really mind if I'm tracking the wrong one. Because uh, the one that we shot, uh, the one that was a body shot, I don't think he was as big as the 178. Uh, that we shot right after that, and if it's the wrong one, hopefully it's going to be a bigger one, because he is just spooking it so far away, I've not even seen him, uh, but like I said, I haven't had blood in so long, the thing is, it could actually be the one that I shot, because he's always running, I almost never have a roaming track uh, where there would be blood anyway, but we're going to find this Sitka buck first. This has been one of the most consistently difficult hunts uh, that I've been on pretty much for the entirety of the seven and a half, almost eight years that I've played this game, because I'm constantly barely able to see the tracks, tracking stuff in the sun, I've got my sunglasses on, uh, and it's still really, really hard to see the tracks. And I'm so often in the areas uh, like the trees in front of me where there's just so many trees. I can't see more than like 20 or 30 meters. Uh, and animals are spooking even if I'm crouching around because I just can't see them. Uh, and then, of course, when I'm tracking them through there, it's not easy. Uh, if the track's behind a tree, I just can't see it. So I got to go behind every tree and look for it. But we are on the trail of that Sitka buck still. I've pretty much given up on the doll sheep, even though he literally just called from on top of that mountain. Uh, I just don't know how I'm possibly going to get him unless I happen to see him coming down over. I'll probably just shoot him with the 9.3 if he's anything decent. But uh, the same goes for the Sitka deer. If I see him, I'm shooting him with the 9.3 because this has just been a really, really tough hunt. But I'm enjoying the challenge. But I get a lot of comments saying that I make the game look easy. And I guess the reason for that is uh, that I'm really only showing highlights. I'm not showing all the tracking and uh, all the difficult stuff in between. I'm pretty much just showing uh, stuff that's entertaining when I finally find the animals. But... This is a lot of what I do when I'm recording videos. I'm just walking around, finding tracks, and waiting to finally get eyes on whatever it is that I'm following. There is the buck that I've been after for so long. I am taking him with the 9.3. Right now, I don't know. I'm literally over an hour of tracking this guy. And I am done doing that. That should be a solid hit. Uh, evidently, he's stuck. Did I actually hit a tree or something? Am I hitting the ground? I don't know what's happening. This buck's literally so hard to get. I was hitting the ground. So at least we hit him. I, I'm kind of... I don't even know. 
<laughs> if it wasn't for the fact that I tracked him for over an hour, I'd be somewhat uh, bummed out that we ended up shooting him while stuck. But we hit the ground in front of us twice. This buck has been such a pain, and I just know he's going to score like 98 or 99 because of that sticker on his, uh, I think it says right antler. Uh, I saw him once, got a decent look at him, and he spooked, and since then he's just been spooking from miles away. Uh, but finally, he is down. I cannot believe how difficult this has been to actually get him. He's not even that heavy, 50 to 80, but he's got a solid rack on him. Uh, it's his left antler that's got this tiny little sticker, and otherwise he looks pretty good, but I just know he's going to score just under 100. Uh, at least he's not below 100. 107 is actually a really nice Sitka buck. That guy is going straight in the lodge. I guess it was all worth it in the end, but man, was that a tough track. And I think that will work for the trophy shot, so we're going to send him to the lodge, and then I think uh, that's probably going to wrap up this hunt. I've been here for over three hours, so I think we'll head back to the lodge and see what we got this hunt. So here we are back in the lodge. We made some pretty decent progress today. We now have two 115 scoring bison, and I just realized they are literally off by .004. The first one was .794. The one today was .798, so he actually was a little bit bigger. Uh, we got our new Arctic Fox, which is 14.939. Uh, and our Sitka buck, which was the biggest pain uh, of the entire video, 107.442. And then I put both of our doll sheep uh, over here. This is the one from last time, 172, and this is the one from this time uh, at 178. So I guess I just overestimated uh, how big the curl really was because it's pretty similar. Uh, but I'm not really sure. Maybe it is just the actual circumference of the horns uh, that makes the difference between like a 170 and 200. I'll have to go back to my other lodge uh, and actually look because I thought this guy was a lot bigger uh, than he actually was. But yeah. Turned out to be a pretty decent hunt. It was a long one and a lot of just tracking, but overall it went pretty good. And we've got a few new trophies to add to our lodge. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.